My name's Jeb, and every good garden video should start with some plants getting ripped out. Get the sticks out! Oh my goodness. Don't worry. This is how you harvest sweet potatoes. I'm going to plant some cucumbers in the chicken yard. Hey. Bark nuggets should help with evaporation. Looks like bird damage. If they climb the trellis, the inevitable powdery mildew might be delayed. The wildlife's getting busy in the garden. Ooh, bees, hi. The heat is here. I can't let the chickens eat all the cucumbers. Time to make some fridge pickles for myself. I'm gonna need a two quart jar. Got one right here. The burps are bitter. I can remove them with a paper towel. Pickles are best when the seeds are tender. The recipe's in the video description. Don't forget to shake frequently and keep
keep it in the fridge. Here they are, let's take a bite. The day one pickle is very mild. On day two, it gets some bite. Our sponsor, Mars Hydro, sent me a new light. Assembly's easy. I'm gonna do it with one hand. First, you put a wing nut there. Then comes the square nut assembly. Then the end piece. The driver attaches easily enough. Just need to hang this thing up and get the seeds started. Pumpkins are a large plant. Using a tent will help. You assemble a frame by popping the poles together. Then you just zip the tent around it. the pickles are gone. <laughs> so are you on team paper towel? or Team Rockwool. These are some old musty jiffy pellets. Potting soil might be a good option too. How about just soaking them in a little jar? Wow, the peat pellets molded already. Get him out of here!
the outdoor pot dries out quick. Let's see how the jar soaking method is doing. <laughs> Time to configure this tent for pumpkins. Look at all the vents and wire ports. I'm putting the driver out of the tent so it can heat up the room instead. I tried pumpkins outdoors in this rig. Metal is better than plastic. Water's heavy. I'm still deciding if three-part nutrients are better. I chose the short seedling. I'm going to try to maintain 40% humidity or less. The dimmer will help.
well. What? I won't add water until the rock wool dries out on top. The pumpkin leaves are doing that droop thing that they do in the sun. I think the discoloration is from low humidity and a disparity between the leaf mass and the root mass. My name's Jeb and I gotta kill these plants. They got the powdery mildew. When it gets hot and then the humidity bumps up, it's 100 degrees right now. You don't think mildew would be able to take effect. That's a cold thing, right? Probably nothing on the sweet potatoes. Maybe the plant could have been saved. No mildew here. I just need to keep the leaves dry. This one's still healthy. Have you had powdery mildew kill your plants? Put a comment in the chat right now. The flowers are coming. Get details on this light and tent in the video description.